My name is Al Fangulo, and I've been a comic for 50 years, five decades, a half a century. I got nothing to show for it. I never been on Ed Sullivan's show. I never been on Letterman's show. I never been on any fucking show. All I do is play weddings and fucking anything else that people will hire me to entertain them like a fucking clown. But it's what I do. It's what I enjoy. So maybe since nobody's going to make a documentary on me, maybe I'll just do one myself. I don't even have a home. I've been living in shitty hotel rooms for the past 50 years. Sometimes I get a little depressed because people think of me as a clown. But I figure, what the fuck? Life is about loss. Once you realize that, you've won. This is the joint I'll be playing tonight. The Cheetah in the Bronx, where I was born and raised. A lot of people ask me, why do I keep banging my head against the wall? I mean, I ain't no Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor was a genius. I'm just a ham and egg. I'm just a two-bit comic. But I like to make people laugh. It's the only thing I know how to do. I got the world's worst thesaurus. Not only is it awful, it's awful. You know, I just tell old-fashioned kind of jokes. You know, just funny stuff. Like, a guy with a parrot on his head walks into a bar and the bartender says, uh... Hey, what's up with that? And the parrot says, I don't know, the guy's been under my feet all day. You know, the truth of the matter is that sometimes it's a lonely existence. Sometimes, sometimes I actually feel like killing myself. I hate to say it, you know, but 50 years and I still can't pay my rent. Uh, I don't know if that's dedication or stupidity. What's red and white that falls down chimneys and Santa Claus? I don't have no manager. I don't have no agent. I have nobody looking out for me and for my interests. So I have to look out for my own interests. And it's a very difficult and stressful job. I remember one time... I was performing at a wedding for some mafia guy. And he wanted me to tell some jokes to the bridal party upstairs in their private uh, cocktail hour. So I go up there and there's nobody there, just a bunch of chairs and tables, but not a living soul. So uh, I say to the guy, what do you want me to do? Perform to a bunch of empty chairs? And the guy says to me, you make one more remark like that and you'll be eating dinner with God tonight. I'm paying you to perform. So start telling your fucking jokes. So I stood there and told jokes to a bunch of empty chairs. I mean, it's a demeaning life. Sometimes the shit you got to put up with. Never criticize anyone until you walk a mile in their shoes. That way they won't be able to hear you, plus you get a new pair of shoes. Sometimes I have a choice. With the chump change I get paid to perform, I could either rent a hotel room for the night or eat dinner. So uh, there's a good many nights that I sleep in my car. Thank you. It's been a pressure entertaining you. Well, I guess that's about all I have to say in this documentary. I hope someday you'll come out and uh, see one of my shows. That would be really good. In the meantime, life is short. Take it easy. We'll see you around.